guys oh man I I had a long day today I just hopped out of the shower uh, I'm beat tired I mean beat tired I've been at it since 3 in the morning and it's about 9 o'clock at night and I have work tomorrow at 3 o'clock in the morning but I made a big mistake I went on Craigslist right before I'm supposed to be going to bed here and there's a guy he has 25 old Nintendo games looking to get $50 for them. That's $2 a game. And if you look, I don't know if you can see the pictures very well. I don't want the fucking guy's phone number in there. But, uh, he's got, it looks like he's got Metal Gear in there. It looks like he's got Legend of Zelda in there. I mean, this looks like a good, a good lot of games. So I texted him, and if he calls me back, I'm, I'm heading out tonight. And this guy's far away. This guy's like, uh, he's like 45 minutes out. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'll I just figured I'd fill you guys in. I'll talk to you later. Oh. Hey guys. Bedhead 1000 here, or should I say Quick Draw McGraw, and I'll explain that in a second. Just got home from work, been spackling all day after about two hours sleep last night, because me and my buddy VS went to go pick up those Nintendo games, and uh, I'm in the chair today because I'm, I'm shot, I'm exhausted. I was up the night before last night. Uh, working on the, the fate machines and I probably got two hours sleep the night before so I, I, I've got no sleep so I don't normally drink coffee so I went to 7-eleven and I got a cup of coffee just so we could do this show because I was so excited coming home from work after picking up what we picked up last night and, and we'll get to that in a second so uh, let me explain quick draw McGraw to you you gotta be quick draw McGraw when you when it comes to Craigslist. Last night when I got on Craigslist, I saw that ad and I jumped on it immediately. Immediately. I said if I if I have to, I'm gonna leave here tonight to go buy those games. And I'm lucky I did. Because I was tired last night. I was beat tired. But I could have put it off and uh, and waited till today, but I would have completely missed out. So if you're persistent enough on Craigslist. You're going to come across treasure. Now, this guy had 25 games for sale for $50. So that's two, $2 a game. And uh, for Nintendo games, I find that reasonable. Do I find it uh, excellent? Uh, not really. But when I saw this lot of games, uh, I got pretty excited. And uh, here, here they are right here. 25 Nintendo games. And you know what got me excited? When, it, when the kid brought them out, he goes, uh, what are you going to do with these? And he was a young kid. He was probably about 20 years old. And, and when it comes to Nintendo games, 20 years old is young. I don't think 20-year-olds uh, know much about Nintendo. I'm, I mean, that's not to say that they don't, but uh, they didn't grow up with it. Maybe he doesn't understand. I have a feeling this might have been his brother's or... Uh, or well, for God's sake, so maybe even his father's. But uh, he said, what are you going to do with these? And I, I said, right then and there, I said, oh, okay, we got something here. So uh, let me go through these games. And, and this is going to be uh, this is gonna be a two-parter because there's a lot of stuff in here. I'm just going to reach in. I'm going to leave this sucker up here. I'm going to reach in and grab it. And we'll talk about what we got. Number one. Do you guys know what this game is? 
Double Dragon. Double Dragon. Maybe the best beat em up art for Nintendo. Awesome game, awesome music, uh, two player uh, arcade action, Double Dragon. Would you pay $2 for that? In, in a case, probably not the case it's supposed to be in, in a case nonetheless, and uh, in fantastic shape. So yeah, Double Dragon. Oh, you guys might know what this game is, or not. This I, I've never I've never played this game. I've never seen this game. This is uh, the ultimate stunt man. Now I was super excited. Originally, it was in the box. I, I thought this was Legend of Zelda, but uh, it's not. And it has a switch on the back. There's some type of uh, uh, position switch. Only use this position if the game does not work with position A. Whatever that means. But uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, I can't wait to give this a try. These games are in a lot of these games are in cases, man. You can't go wrong. Uh, Tetris. Tetris. What can you say about uh, a Tetris? Maybe one of the greatest uh, puzzle games uh, ever made. I know probably my favorite puzzle type of game, Tetris. Great music. Um, just addicting, addicting uh, game. Addicting gameplay, great game. Tetris. Okay. Another game in the case. Nintendo Tennis. Now, um, Nintendo sports games are great. Ice hockey, baseball, they're just loads of fun. I don't know what it is about them. The simplicity, I think it is. They're easy to just pick up and start playing. They're multiple players. These games are just a lot of fun. I think a lot of people overlook these games because they just think, oh, it's, uh, it's you know Nintendo's first uh, you know shot at sports games and whatnot. But these these games are great. So Nintendo Tennis, and I like tennis games, so I'm psyched for this. We got in the case here action video Monopoly. Monopoly. Eh. Never played it. Uh, could be a good game. Doesn't seem like my type of game, but uh, we'll give it a shot. This one's kind of cruddy. It's got some some crud on it or whatnot. We'll clean her up. Okay, this is great. Rad Racer. Rad Racer. Here's a great driving game, great arcade style driving game for Nintendo. One of the first games uh, I've ever I ever played for for Nintendo. I played this at my my buddy Steve's house when I was when I was a wee lad. And uh, Rad Racer is a great game. Awesome music. Uh, Awesome title, and I, I don't see a lot of rad races around. So, am I wrong thinking this might be a rare title? Oh, oh shit, I didn't even notice this. Uh, we got another Tetris. Another Tetris in great shape. She's a beauty. In the case. Not, not going to complain about that. Okay, look at this, guys. 
Snake's Revenge, the sequel to Metal Gear. And now Snake's Revenge, I remember watching my friend play Snake's Revenge, but I never played it myself. And Snake's Revenge was an awesome game. Was it as good as Metal Gear? I suppose people could argue about that, but uh, Snake's Revenge. So far so good, huh? Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. Uh, this is the game that um, that basically came with the Nintendo throughout the Nintendo's run. This was the game that you got with your Nintendo. Very common game, nothing rare about it, uh, but two, two classic games, two great games. I don't have to tell you guys about Mario Brothers, do I? Uh, Platoon. Platoon. Never played Platoon. Uh, very curious to see how it is. I don't even know what, what type of game it is, whether it's a, a shooter or, or whatnot. My guess is it, it might be like a commando game. I don't know. But uh, Platoon. Good movie. The Little Mermaid, uh, normally I would think this is just a piece of crap, but um, Capcom makes it, so it could be an alright game, who, you know, who knows. Little Mermaid. Maybe you could swim around as Ariel. You know how I know that? My sister saw the movie over a hundred times. Alright, let me check the time guys, I want to check the time real quick because I don't want these videos going too long.